Hey traders, this is Tosh. I go by T Bradley 90 in the My Investing Club chat. A general reminder for you guys, for those who don't know, MIC is having a one year anniversary event. It's coming up where Bao is going to be trading live in front of members. Uh, August 17th, mark your calendars. As an added benefit for our members, the event is 100% free for annual and lifetime members and it's only access to them as there is limited seating. While lifetime members on top of that get extra coaching before the event and front row seating. While most charge for these events, we show our support by making it free for annual and lifetime members. If you are interested in signing up and attending this event, DM T Bradley 90 in Slack and or email myself at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. Now we have a very, very special video for you guys today. It's that time again about daily recap. So as you all know, today was a very slow trading day, and today we're going to focus on slow trading days, bear market perhaps, max size rule, scalping, how to squeeze some money out of a dead market, your absolute max size, max loss rule, and tickers in question, Gene, WKHS, TBLT, CLRB, and TTNP. Hey guys, welcome to the Daily Recap. Today is Monday. May 13, 2019. It's been a while since we did one of these, but I usually say the daily recaps for days that we have something to teach or something to learn or days I lose and I want to teach or days, you know. Um, so it's, we don't have a set schedule for the daily recaps. Uh, today was a very slow day for uh, small caps. So I want to just... Uh, Talk to you about that and how to trade these markets, man. These markets have been crazy. The, uh, how much is the, the market down today, man? Is it down 600 points? 612 points. Uh, that doesn't include last week's carnage tank as well. So if those are asking how it feels like to trade in a bear market or a recession. This is it, man. Uh, people are scared. There's hardly any volume in uh, small caps. Uh, if you're trading large caps, there's a lot of volatility, but it's tough when you wake up and it gapped down 500 points, right, guys? So, I mean, you're like, shit, how can I short this? It goes down. So, sometimes, you know, it's, it's tough, in my opinion, for every type of trader. Uh, Bear, if, if you think it's easy to short in a small cap, I mean, in, in a recession or a bear market, think again, it's, it's, it's even more difficult. Uh, the, the reason why shorts work is overextension, right? Uh, you have to have meat. You have to have stocks that are like way, like that's just parabolic up and it's on a multi-day run and all that stuff, right? So it makes shorting much easier. But if you have a stock that doesn't go up, keeps going down. How can you chase? You can chase, I guess, but uh, you know, it makes the meat is not there. It makes trading much more difficult. Hey, WKS, let me see. I have an open order on this, <laughs> but uh, but yeah, it makes trading much more difficult, man. Everything you want stocks to go up, it's good for longs and it's good for shorts. Uh, volume's good, guys. So today, I wanted to teach you some stuff like. Dude, I wake up and there's like hardly anything that's moving, okay? And then when things are moving, like these two stocks right here, guys. These are the two ones I really wanted to short. I woke up, I mean, this is all market time, right? And it's like, dude, there's hardly any chance. The moment it broke 270, it just started tanking down. And I'm just waiting for it to pop back up to the 280 line to short. It just does not do it. So I'm like, dude, there's no trade. And then by the time the market opens, I'm like, dude, it's already at where I want it to cover. This is the ideal cover spot. This is the low pivot line, 225. Look at the low, 221. So I wanted to go back to 240 so I could short the 250 line. Didn't do it. You know, it went up to here, but now we're during the zombie hour, 1030. It's like, dude, hardly any meat. It's, I, so today is pretty much like done for this. And same thing for TTNP. <laughs> Once it broke the 185, never looked back. Nothing you can do, man. This welcome to the bear, welcome to bear country. You know, um, 
you want stocks to go up a little bit so that you can you can have a ent good entry. It's just how can you chase it, man? The, the market, this thing opened up at nine thirty. It opened up at one seventy seven. I mean, you're already at the first line where you want to cover some. There's no meat left. You know what I'm saying? So uh, this is how I use these pivots. I use these pivots as an entry, as, a, as also an exit. So each one of these lines, I could be scaling out. So that's how I do that. So, but today's lesson is on, dude, what, what the hell do you do when, when you wake up and every single day is like this, right? Every single day, you're like, dude, there's no opportunity for me as a long. There's no opportunity for me as a short. Let's take a look at um, the only long that is still alive, OPTT, which has 9 million volume. I mean, look, look at the range. You have a 10 cent scalp. Uh, for a short seller, this is no play. Because the first thing you do is, you remember what we talked about? You have to go through your process, figure out what the flow and all that stuff is. So usually when I, I wake up every morning, I look at my, my scanner and then I see what's moving. So today was OPTT. I'm like, dude, this, this float, I, I'm not touching this stuff, right? I'm going to die. Um, and then everybody's logging into the, everyone is longing the stock because this is the hot chick of the day. Nine million volume. It's like the highest floater guy. I mean, lowest float guy, but it doesn't go up. I'm, and you're thinking, why the hell doesn't it go up? So you go, I'm not a filings expert. I do a quick ru uh, run through the filings to see if there's possible dilution. I see, dude, there's a new effective, man. So who knows, are they selling this? So if you take a look at this effective, there's an S1. This is pretty new. So if you go to this S1 here, there's a bunch of shares, man. You can read up on this and warrants and all that stuff. And there's another one over here. So you don't know, man. It's like, dude, this, this thing to me looks like someone's selling as much as they can. But who knows? Uh, the fact that it's 1 million float and then there's also dilution. I'm just trying to see hindsight, the reason why it's not moving up, right, guys? To me... Um, I'm mainly a short seller. There's no play on this for me. I need meat. There's a million float. This thing is zombie right now. Who the hell knows? Um, but from a long, if you're a long side, you know, you take some chances. You see there's a support here at 250. And it's just a channel that you're trading, man. You're just taking your 10 cent, which is no trade, man. It's just bar barely doing anything. So welcome to bear country. Welcome to a recession. Uh, this is how things look when we're, we're, we're in a bear market, right, guys, uh, which we haven't seen for like a decade. So this is what it is, man. You wake up and there's hardly anything moving. And then and then you're like, oh, crap, look at, look at the big caps, large caps. There's stuff that's moving. And then you jump in, you don't know what you're doing, and then you fucking get killed. Um, so what do you do, right, guys? So, I mean, I'm gonna, so I'm going to show you what I did. This, so let's, let's start with this, okay? Um, I always like to remind everybody, dude, you have to, you have to stick to your process. Slow days, hot days. So I days that there are like ten things running, I do horrible. I tell you right now, I do horrible. Um, that's because I try to nail all ten trades. I I fuck up my process. I deviate my process because I'm like, dude, I, I want to hit everything. I'm greedy. Uh, so those days kind of screw me up too so those days that i see a ton of stuff running i have to remind myself that focus focus pal focus on maybe three plays focus at least nail one play don't don't go around trying to nail 10 plays that you did not research so i i tend to make money on plays that i research pre-market where i know the filings i know the lines i know the reason why it goes up i, I know the technical analysis I, I, I plan my trades. I put my fantasy orders out. I know what's going on. Those are the, the tr trades I make money, the ones I pre-plan. Not the ones I see on scanner. I jump in, jump out. Those, those I do horrible because I panic. I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. And then when I'm down, I keep adding to a loser. And that's what happens, man. Uh, when you don't plan for things, as a human, as a human being, you just kind of like panic. 
And, and people panic differently. Some people panic. The best way to panic is to do nothing. Hey, traders, this is Tosh. I go by tbradley90 in the My Investing Club chat. Just wanted to reach out and say if you have any questions about MIC, joining MIC, maybe you're a member already, you have three ways to contact myself personally and through MIC. You can hit our social media, you can hit me through PMs in chat, or you can contact us through my email at tosh at myinvestingclub.com. That's T-O-S-H at myinvestingclub.com. I will get back to you in a timely manner, and I'm saying this because I'm here to help, and I don't want anybody to be afraid to reach out and ask any question that they have. We are here for you guys. All right, see you guys.